uh, thank you so much for clicking to watch this video in case you are new here my name is aurelia pendo and if you are a returning subscriber thank you so much for always coming back to watch my content subscribe if you have not subscribed also like this video and give it a thumbs up share it with your friends and family so that they also enjoy this content and in today's video uh we are going to talk about factors or other questions you should ask yourself or the buyer before you buy land and this today's video is sponsored by gold lands investments they are a real estate company that deals in or rather sells properties they are located in Roy Miranje house Miranje house is just the stage uh, before or no after after Kenya Power offices, KPLC offices, the next stage is where you'll find Miranje House. So you just alight there if you're coming or you're rather if you're going if you're going using public transport. But if you're driving yourself there, the building is called Miranje House. They're located in second floor of Miranje House, uh suite H5. I'm going to link down their contact details so that you reach out to them in case you want to buy property. They currently have properties in Nanyuki, in Malindi, and in Joska. And today I'm going to talk about this particular one in Joska. There are 40 by 80 plots going for 699,000. And with a deposit of, you have the option of paying in installments, you deposit 300,000 Kenya shillings, and then the rest of the installments is paid in a period of 6 to 12 months, depending on you. Yeah, so these particular plots are located in Sunshine area near Mamangina Children's Home. They have electricity on site and water is also on site. The road is not yet tarmacked, but it is Maram which has been well developed. The distance from the properties to Kangondo Road is 6 kilometers. So reach out to Goldlands Investments and talk to them let, let them take you through the procedures of owning your next home yeah so straight to today's video we are going to talk about important questions to ask yourself before owing owning land so the first thing you're supposed to or rather the first step to buying land is one first identifying the location where you want to buy your land for example you decide you want to buy land in nanyuki or in Gong or in Kisarian, so you decide I want to buy land in Joska. So, yeah, that is the first thing you decide to do after deciding the location. You want to check uh, how much money do you have, so you go with your budget. For example, your budget is 1M, so you're going to look at properties in the range of whatever money that you have. So, those are very important factors location and the amount of money that you have so that now you're able to be guided where am i going to look for this particular land and how much am i spending it is very very important to always be in the budget unless you are a spender of which it's allowed yeah so the second thing also you you would want to consider how much or how long does it take to own land so this will depend on whoever is selling the land to you so also depends on if you're paying on cash that only means this is going to be faster but if you're paying in installment so that means it is going to take a little period of time much more time because if you're paying on cash that means you're going to make the deposits and then the process of uh putting the name to your the title to your name begins but you see if you're paying using installments it takes at least six to twelve months so you see that will determine whether you're paying with cash or you're paying lip and dogo dogo. the next thing to consider will be the price and the payment plan so of course before you go you go buying land you need to know that my range is between this amount to this amount and probably you don't have a stable income you're not also left out because there are options of paying in installments and this uh, make this also helps to ensure that nobody is left out in owing in owning properties i don't know why i keep saying owing sorry it's owning owning properties 
so yeah the, they are always these most companies have payment plans so that is the installment kind of payment plan so in case you are somebody that has an income that does not have a steady income probably um not steady like you don't have a monthly income or rather your income is daily so you see you can be able to pay daily put a deposit and then you pay the installment daily so we consider everyone so that you're not left out in owning your next property and then you should ask yourself whether there is site viewing because you need to see what you're buying you just just don't buy land that you have not seen so most companies have site viewing days so you were whoever you're working with just ask them whether you can view the land and most provide free site visits so if you're interested just make sure you go and see so that you see what you're paying for so uh yeah seeing is believing next question to ask yourself is is the land lease hold or freehold lease hold means what that you are not buying the property to own it you're going to own it for a period of time probably 10 years 100 years but the freehold means that you're going to buy the property and it belongs to you like forever and for the lease lease hold properties they issue a certificate of lease but for the freehold they hold they issue sorry they issue title deeds so you should know the difference whether this land you're buying is for lease or it's for freehold very important to note and if it's for either you should be given the right certificate for it certificate of lease or the title deed next question you should ask yourself is there is that are there any restrictions to the use of land so you should be able to know whether you you can build commercial properties or the land has been restricted only for residential purposes this is very key you need to know so that probably you want to build commercial prop uh, properties and the land has been restricted so you, they need to make it clear to you whether they have restrictions or not so that you're able to know whether you're doing whatever you want to do without fear of your properties being brought down the next question is is there any physical or, or environmental issues yeah like for example you could buy land during the dry period and then when it rains you find that your area is flooding and you did not know so it is very key uh i'll still an idea for you if you can buy land when it's raining so that you're able to know uh during floods during rain sorry during the rain season does this place flood does this place have soil erosion does this place have what are they called the rift valleys <laughs> so that you don't wake up one day and you find your land has parted into two so this is very important consider the physical or, or and i keep saying all gosh or environmental issues Oof. next question ask yourself whether they have social amenities around what are social amenities these are hospitals schools how are the roads in the areas is this a residential kind of place or is it commercial are there malls around or upcoming malls yeah these are the kind of questions you are supposed to ask yourself so social amenities is very important to note especially if you're going to settle uh, at this particular place you need to be sure that your kids will have schools to go to uh, you can have hospitals uh, to go to in case you're sick shopping malls that you're able to buy stuff and such kind of things so check for social amenities around another question to ask yourself is the title deed a mother title or is it an individual title deed because normally like they buy a large piece of uh, land and then they divide it into the small portions 50 by 100 or 40 by 80 or acres or whatever so you need to ask whoever is selling your land your agent whether the the title deeds are individual or 
Or, gosh, or. <laughs> or, or, eh, or. Yeah, you need to ask yourself, yourself whether the title deed is a individual title deed or it's a mother title. This is very important so that by the time you're finishing the or clearing the deal, then this time you need to know whether the the title is going to be in your name or rather it's being still going to be as the mother like the whole property and it is very important to ensure that you have an individual title deed because having a mother title is so much work because you need to wait for the others to buy so that you guys can find your other titles everybody get the individual titles it's a lot of work but if the company can give you individual title deeds that is very key you can also do search uh, a search in the land registry to check whether this property has individual titles or who the title has been addressed to it is very important to do your search very important because we don't we can't trust these companies it is good to do your due diligence check for yourself it costs around 520 kenya shillings to do a search in the land registry so make sure you search it for yourself even after they tell you whatever they tell you do your due diligence and make sure whatever they tell you is true next question you should ask yourself is does the seller have the site map it's commonly known as a mutation so yeah this is to ensure that you just see the map of how they have been divided probably you want to choose plot number one which is you you like you want to see where plot number one the one that you're choosing is located and then also you want to see your neighborhood whoever is in your neighborhood so they should have a mutation of all this if there's a road divided in in these properties it is it should also show in the mutation so the mutation is very very important so make sure they show you that during the site visit next question to ask yourself is the size of the plot so they can tell you that the size of the plot is probably 50 by 100 and then it's not 50 by 100 it's 40 by 80 so it is good to come with your own surveyor if you can so that you measure with him and then you're able to make sure whatever you, you're buying is whatever is on the ground like the particular size you're buying is whatever you're being sold to. So don't buy 50 by 100, but in real sense, you're buying 40 by 80. Or Yeah, that's just an example. So if you can, get a surveyor so that you go and measure and make sure what you're buying is what you get. This is very, very important. So the other question or the next question to ask yourself is how does the seller protect you as a buyer or rather... How does the seller protect your interests as the buyer? So ensure you sign a sales agreement. This is very key. Yani, what is... How do you do business without an agreement? Or a contract? Yeah, just make sure that you sign a sales agreement. This includes the term and conditions regarding payments, legal matters, and timelines. Just make sure that you have a sales agreement and if you can, get a lawyer. So get legal advice so that things don't just, you know, there are, there are just people out here that are here to con people. So ensure that you do not get conned. It is hard to be conned if you can sign a sales agreement because at least you can take it to court and you say this person, we signed an agreement and here it is and here were the terms and the conditions. So it is easier to win that case unlike when you don't have any agreement or any contract so ensure that you have a sales agreement and you sign it and you have witnesses this is very key the next uh question to ask yourself is when what is next after finishing payment so yeah you have made your cash payments or rather you have made your installment payments and you have finished so what is the next thing so after paying in full, you need to sign land transfer forms. This includes, in this land transfer forms, you have to include your passport photos, your KRA pin, your copy of the sales agreement, and the old 
title deed. I repeat that again. What to include in that? You pay in full, yeah, and then you sign the land agreement, and then now you include your passport photos, you as a buyer, you include your KRA PIN, a copy of your sale agreement, and the old title deed. After that, you present it to the land registry for change of ownership. So now it changes from being from the company, whatever company you bought it from or from the agent. Now it comes with your name on it. And now you receive your title deed. So after you pay, this is the process that you go through. Make sure you know these things. That's why I'm here to tell you. And yeah, next question you can ask yourself is how long does it take to acquire the title deeds? This will depend with the buyer that is selling it to you, like how fast they are going to process things. Also, this will depend with you, like how, how fast you are to push things or how urgent the land is for you, like how urgent do you really want this. It takes between two months to nine months for the processing of the title deed from the mother to now your individual title so it takes approximately two to nine months depends on you and also the buyer like how fast or how urgent you guys are going to push this the next question is who pays for stamp duty and when is it paid normally it's the buyer that pays for the stamp duties it is usually two percent of the total amount of the property for example the property goes for one m so two percent of one m is a stamp duty but there are companies that usually put this amount in the like the the amount that they are going to tell you the land is going for they've already put the stamp duty in that amount probably they are going to tell you the land goes for seven hundred thousand including stamp duty so that one you, you know that you don't have to pay any other costs after paying the seven hundred thousand. Yeah, so I think I've answered that. And my last question is how can I tell the title deed is now under my name? So you've done all the processes, you've paid for your land, you've done blah blah blah, the title has been transferred to you know how do you make sure that it is in your name? Easy. You go to the registrar of land and you search just to confirm that it is your name and all your details that are in the title deed. That's the only way you're going to confirm or prove that you are the legal owner of this property. Yeah, that has been my the list that I came up with of frequent questions that are important questions to ask yourself before purchasing land in case you have any questions regarding real estate just put them in the comments below i am going to see them and i'm going to answer them if they're going to be a lot i'm going to make another video about this just to answer your questions yeah that has been it thank you so much for watching this up to the end subscribe if you haven't like this video give it a thumbs up and share it with you friends and family details uh, about gold dance investments are going to be on the description box make sure you check them out i'm going to put their social media platforms their contact details and their website that has been it thank you so much guys for watching i really appreciate see you on the next video adios